the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh. It disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel. I aspired to the purity of the blessed machine. Your kind cling to your flesh, as if it will not decay and fail you. One day the crude biomass that you call the temple will wither, and you will beg my kind to save you. Love the smell of grimdark in the morning. G'day mates and welcome to Mechanicus. I have been waiting so, so long to play this since the first teaser images appeared on Steam. And I just want to say a big thank you to Casado Games and Bulwark Studios, the uh, publishers and devs behind this, for giving me access to the preview build. Uh, there was a stream, or there will... I will be streaming tonight, but it was yesterday when the video comes out, uh, of this game because... There's uh, no embargo on it, so I'm going to play as much as possible because, God, it's good fun. I've already given it a test run, and just the story and the theme and the control... Oh, it's, it's... It's 40k XCOM. It's really good. It's really good. And uh, we're going to get into this straight away. Uh, it is an alpha build, just want to let everyone know that. Um, so if you see any bugs or issues or, you know, things are subject to change, yada yada. The Royals of Industry giveaway is still on, link in the description, and let's get into this. The 41st Millennium, a time of darkness and war. The Imperium of Man claims the whole galaxy in the name of the God Emperor. It fights an endless war against Xeno from without, heretics from within, and supernatural horrors from beyond. Alongside the Imperium's war fleets serve the Adeptus Mechanicus. They are the tech priests of Mars. Guardians and reclaimers of humanity's technology, ever searching for the remnants of knowledge from man's glorious past, exploring the depths of the galaxy for worlds long lost to mankind. In the name of their machine god, they manufacture the Imperial War Machines with gigantic foundries, known as Forge Worlds. Or ForgeWorld.co.uk. <coughs> uh, gradually... The tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus shred their human weaknesses, replacing their limbs and organs with machinery that is both stronger and spiritually pure. Their leaders, the inscrutable Magi, protect the Forge Worlds and explore the furthest corners of their galaxy with their cohorts of Skitari troops. It is a time of warfare, tragedy, and portents of doom. Across this benighted galaxy, the Adeptus Mechanicus are one of mankind's last defenses against a new dark age. Or perhaps they will be the one to hasten its dawn. Seriously? Seriously? Are we not gonna- Alright game, I love you. But where the fuck is- I'm- Give me just once- I'm gonna go grab my book. Yeah, Riddidus, just give me a second. Found it! Found it! <clears throat> Wars rage over airless moons, in the dark, twisted depths of hive worlds, in the cold wastes between stars. From the immaterial realm of warp space, malicious entities send their unspeakable minions to slaughter the Emperor's Chosen. Everywhere, soulless spectres and slavering monsters are poised to extinguish the life of humanity. For in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Where the fuck is my only war line game? You don't get to make a 40k game without opening with only war, you little shit. Alright, let's play this thing. <laughs> Boy, that was just a nerd out anyway. Redigious. Um, by the way, I love that they all talk in binary. It's a nice way of getting around and not having uh, these guys voice acted, which I quite like. Um, oh wait, no, this guy actually was voice acted at the start, wasn't he? An echo in the news sphere, Margos. An old transmission lost in the Imperium. 
and only recovered now. Oh, I love that. I love that. Is it worthy of our attention? The Citrix Maledictum has descended. The Great Divide torments the galaxy. The resources of the Adeptus Mechanicus are stretched thin. Um, so the Great... Okay, Great Divide and Cid uh, Citrix Malicus. If you don't know much about 40k, um, basically, there's warp storms. Those things, you know, prevent you from traveling uh, because it's literally hell. Like, hell is the hell is the warp, okay? That's, that's the best way to understand it. And uh, a warp storm has split the galaxy in two. And that's a bad thing. We are weaker than ever, though the Imperium at large knows it not. This represents an unknown, but possible key to victory. Fucking tech heretics. An opportunity to research. Perhaps avert the ill fate that has befallen us. The transmission's origin, Silver Nen uh, Nenebris, part of the Emimus Sol uh, Solaris, with an Ultramar segmentum. Fucking Smurfs. <laughs> I say having $3,000 worth of Smurfs in the closet. That's in the hinterlands of the Forge World Metallica. <laughs> they play some great music there. Their tech priests will know, uh, will want to be involved in any investigation. Where Metallica is, Sti uh, Stygis, I think it's Stygis, yeah, Stygis 8 demands to be. Any investigation shall begin with myself and Magi from each of the Forge Worlds then. Search the rolls, Adidas. Gather them. Alright, so basically, oh my god. Oh yeah, it's M42 now, I forgot that. I forgot that we're actually in M42 now. Um, yeah, pretty much, oh, four months later. Oh, nice, nice way to kick things off. Uh, we run a group of, uh, uh it's called Tech Priests and, uh, their cohorts. And we go around, basically, Tech Priests are, like, alongside rogue traders with some of the more explorey people who aren't just, you know, always fighting. They also do other things, like, look at things before they fight them. This is Resic. I like it. I love this. I love how many candles are close to purity seals in Warhammer. Like, at some point, someone's just lit their purity seal on fire and they're just going, well, fuck. Whoever finds this transmission and follows me here, give thanks that you will see what I have seen. But be wary, my fellow seekers of knowledge. Whatever lies beneath this world, I fear. I hope. I have woken it. I came to this world to investigate its ruins, but I've found so much more. Terrors, yes. Threats to body and soul, but by the Omnissiah, I found such wonders. An STC for a fuck machine. We can move past toasters now. Oh, God. Um, this is the last transmission of Magius Resek. He vanished while on an exploratory mission to investigate Xenos structures and Silver Tenebris. Oh, who's this? Hypothesis. He found something. <laughs> These are totally not the voices of a tech priest if they're, like, actually speaking, but fuck you. I'm not going to do a variety of just, basically, robots. I'm going to at least put a bit of robot into some, though. Tech priest Scavola, I asked you to join this mission because you have experience with, uh, surveying alien artifacts and organisms. Oh, and then there's Vidix. <laughs> oh, nice. And so the heretics of Stygis 8 can plunder this world for its secrets. Your assertion, false, if objection, concerns, fans, go to different mission. That fucking, ah, uh, he fucking speaks like code. I, I love Tech Priest because of this shit. And leave you to free to do as you will. A dereliction of logic, Scavola. Malachian 16.4. Watch your brother, for his sin of heresy is thy sin of tolerance. I called you here, Lector Dogamus, Videx. Because your knowledge in spiritual matters and the cult mechanicus will be crucial in dealing with the moral threats on Silver Tenebus. I have 543,021 works of scripture stolen from Raptor Context, Context, Baby! <sighs> there is no obstacle beyond my capacity to counsel you on. <laughs> God damn it, this voice. A mission is to find and ascertain any threat. Uh, a mission on this world is to ascertain any Zen uh, Xenos presence, and if we find it, eliminate it as a threat to the Imperium. The opening of the Great Divide means we can call in no additional support from Forge Worlds. We must achieve this with the troops and resources we bring with us. Benefit analysis. Peace for the sector. Knowledge for mankind. Plus plus plus, plus potential. Plus plus, plus 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 opportunity. An opportunity to destroy the works of the Xenoscavoler. Not appropriate them. Themiscryan Manuscripts verse 60... <coughs> 1619. What the enemy built, let it be made asunder. For us, it would be the house of sand and knives. God, that seems like a very inconvenient house. Margai, we are approaching the target coordinates. Oh, who's this dude? 
Well, hi there! Magic! I have not properly expressed my gratitude for bringing me on this mission. It's an opportunity to study these aliens up close. We can rarely be afforded such a chance. I did not bring you as a favor, Terius. A Magius does not grant favors, even to those he has meant in person. Oh, sorry, this is a different... God damn it. Uh, your xenolinguistic linguistic skills could be uh, relevant in, asser uh, in asserting any threat on Silver Tenebrous. Well, I understand. You would not find me wanting. I do not expect to. I trained you myself. Alright, so I'm just going to make a quick thing here. Gestus. Oh, God. Just, I, 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 oh, oh, God. We got a ship. Wait, did we just get hit by something? No, okay, ship is just lopsided. Right, gotcha. Oh, this is amazing. Castellian's unoperational. What? Kind of thrones have gone rogue. What the fuck just happened? This is so cool. We're near the eastern fringe. You might even meet the Weeaboos. Engage the linkage Omnissiah. Engage the linkage Omnissiah. Our truth has come online. So I'm going to make a quick executive decision, at least for this video, just because I wanted to keep it in like the 10, 20 minute range. Uh, I'm going to cut out the rest of the talking. I will summarize what happened. Oh, it's a silver scout. <laughs> Look at him go. Uh, I will summarize, like, I'll read and summarize, uh, but for, at least for this video, just to show off the game, I'm going to cut out the rest of the dialogue, because there is a lot of it. Um, but when I stream, obviously, I won't be doing that. I'll probably upload the VOD of me playing this game, because, boy, can't I wait. Well, there's multiple servo skulls. They're like little annoying birds. Okay, so we've located this sector. What this means is we now get to go down. Yes, it's buried tomb. Uh, yes, let the secrets of the world equal zero. I fucking love this guy. I, I love how they've managed to differentiate... Like, the types of, uh, tech-obsessed nutters. It's good fun. Welcome to the new sphere. We have our little servo skull boy over here. This is how you play the game. You move your camera around, like, oh, look, I got my servitors and my uh, tech priest running around, going between rooms. Uh, you have servitors with you, which are, oh, you can also have a uh, Skatari, of course. Hey, look, Xeno runes. Oh, God, this is the work of the alien. Let's blow it up. Um, so, of course, you run into events like this. Ahead is an obelisk-like chamber covered in what can only be described as hieroglyphic symbols. Necrons! Yay! We can blow it up, secure it, or, uh... No, sorry, check the around, or scrutinize. Now, I scrutinized last time, and basically what happened was it powered on, and I also got some data. I'm gonna check around. We're detecting a manic, massive energy surge. Thank the Omnisci, no one was close enough to be hit by that radiation. Oh, that's right, yeah, because one of my tech priests got washed over by it when I, um... Oh, but there we go. I got I got the same amount of data anyway. Nice. So last time one of my tech priests got hit by that, but we still got the data, but he just took damage um, after, you know, the obelisk, you know, bathed everything in radiation, which was a bit inconvenient generally. Uh, right, we have caution, con consistency, or crusade. Now last time I did consistency because it's done by like the book, but fuck it. Crusade. Let's get an aggressive stance in this battle. Running straight into the uh, firing lines of my enemies. I love that transition, by the way. The fall away. Oof. Oh, it's good. Oh, this is a different battle map. No, no, wait, no, it's the same one. Okay. Okay, so I deploy my tech priests. And when I say it's like Divinity Original Sin, I mean because people take their turns like this. So you can see, like, one turn. Oh, we act... Oh, I guess we acted twice um, because we played aggressive. That's that's probably why I'm acting twice. Whereas when I went consistent, it was me, a Necron, me, a Necron, right? Um, so what we do here is we have these con uh, Cognition. This lets us use our special abilities uh, using Cognition. So what I'm going to do is run to here... Yep, we grab cogni uh, Cognition from this uh, little spawning point here, which is what we use on special abilities and also to move fast, uh, move further, yada, 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 right? I'm going to take a shot. Now, actually, I'm going to scan this guy first, which also means I get a Cognition uh, cognition point. There it goes. So I'm going to send over my Servo Skull. Now, here's a real cool thing. Oh, how, how cool is... Look how low you can get. Wait, yeah, I know. I, I've played this game. I've played the game. Look at this. Look how low you can get. You can get, like, right up in him. They can spin around. Look at this. Look at my little tech freeze boy. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this Necron boy. He's not happy to see me. Look at this guy as well. This guy's got a fucking... Wait, where is it? He's got a gun. He's got a Phosphex gun. Look how... Oh, God, I love this. I really do enjoy this. Uh, anyway, so we're going to fire off our macro blaster. Oh, sorry. Macro... Stubber? Of course, because stubber is... Uh, what do you call it? 
the name for a... I will say, that doesn't look like a lot like a stubber. That does look like an energy weapon, and a stubber is a, a kinetic weapon in, a, in a bloody... What do you call it? Um, Warhammer. So, look, I'm, I might be saying that the guys who have spent ages making the game don't know what a stubber is. That may be what I'm implying. No, I'm not. Wait, no, sorry, you can send the skull to collect uh, cognition. Sorry, you don't get cognition when you uh, collect it off Necrons. But what we're going to do is spend a cognition point. Yep, I know. To run straight up to the Necron and whop him in the face with my giant axe. Yep, I know. Now, the thing is, ranged weapons don't work in melee. So, as you can see here, we're going to whop him in the face. Uh, also, this does something else, if I recall rightly. If we go over this, uh, oh, it destroys physical and energetic armor. So if you look at the Necron, hold spacebar to go into Tech Priest view, we can see it's got some... Oh, this guy's got energetic armor, all right? And this guy's got physical armor. Doesn't matter. Either way, fucking whop him with the axe. Ah, oh, brilliant. So minus his armor did four damage. He's still got one life. Um, so next turn, he's just dead as a doornail. He shouldn't be able to use his weapon against me as well. You can see... Oh, okay. Took two damage there. Bit sucky, but ah, oh, well. Cool. Now, here's the thing. If he moves away from me, I get an opportunity attack. And as far as I'm aware... Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I have not seen that yet. I didn't realize the bodies had physics when they died. Holy fuck, I punted him off this sucking monolith. Holy shit, that was funny. Okay, so that was a critical hit. So normally the Necrons go into recovery mode, which means they like kneel down and they uh, eventually, if you don't deal more damage to them, they'll actually resurrect because that's kind of what Necrons do. Uh, also, we're calling in our reserve troops. Troops come in like as the battle goes on. They say, like they filter in. So we just got our servitor here. Look at him. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was a critical hit, which meant he uh, he died instantly. He didn't go into recovery mode. <laughs> but um, <laughs> God damn it. Um, the, uh, the whole point of that is basically, uh, when they move away from you, you get an opportunity to attack, much like a D&D and all sorts. There you go, five my stubber. Um, which means that obviously I get close enough to a range unit, they have to run away, and then I hit him with my axe. Cool. Right, and yes, I have my troops here. Now this troop is just gonna wander up to here, and just use his attack. Bonk. There we go, he's down, he's now in recovery mode. But we should just win, because he's the only unit in recovery mode. Yep, cool, and he's dead, cool. Um, also, killing enemies gives cognition as well. Oh, fuck, I'm still I'm still laughing at that fucking punt off the, uh, stair, the uh, monolith. I guess if they go critical hits, they go for the ragdoll mode. Now I know Necrons come out of these tombs, so we're gonna fucking ignite it! The tech priests open fire on the sarcophagi. The structures prove all but impenetrable, sorry, impermeable to normal small arms fire. But components of strange Necron materials are stripped away and we sell it by the cohort for examination and repurposing. Wait, so we just shot at something and then we're like, Oh look, cool materials, and ran away with it. That seems very tech priesty to do. Alright, cool. I like, the options aren't equal as well. They certainly aren't all like, it's not like, Well, this one's just basically the same option but slightly different, or like they all end up with the same result. Every time I've chosen a different option so far, I've got a pretty different result. Like in the first one, my tech priest got bathed in radiation when I chose uh, the investigate button, which wasn't a good thing, by the way. The thing I like is you can actually just keep moving. Like, it's, there's no limits on movement. There we go, find my weapon. Oh, it should have served I scold him first. Oh, well. You can't actually see how much damage you do, because I don't know how much life he's got. It's like, you need your servo skulls. Uh, servo skulls aren't the only thing that will do it, but uh, it's how you generally judge how much damage you've dealt to someone. Cool, end turn. Oof, okay. Oof, two damage. Like the very darkest dungeon-esque quotes. Through pain, I find wisdom. Yep. Now I can use my super mega awesome gun. So we're gonna park this guy here real quick. Gather as much as we can. There we go, four cognition. And cognition actually comes back from these things, but... Hang on, Ooh, we're gonna send over the uh, little Scully first. Scully McScan brains. And this is a phosphor gun. And actually, I think in Warhammer, these actually just got destroyed. We can't build them anymore, because some rogue tech priest blew up phosphor uh, the phosphor STC. Uh, standard template construct, by the way. Uh, do, 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 do. Six to eight damage. There we go. So six to eight, he's got no uh, electric defense. So... Oh, look at that. But he's still recovering, right? He's got three rounds to recover. So for that reason, we're just going to move on up and whack him with a stick at some point. Actually, I probably should just stay around there since I can just keep getting cognition. I can keep firing the weapon, can't I? Oh, right. Sorry. Forgot about the scarabs. Right, yes. They are an issue in this game. Okay, we get our reinforcements as well. I do quite like the reinforcements, it's like, it's a nice way to keep the combat a bit mobile, and like, keep changing things up. 
Um, you know, you don't get all... It's, it's not an alpha strike game like XCOM was, which I was not a fan of. Um, XCOM 2, sorry. XCOM 2 was all about alpha strikes, and I really didn't like that. Here we go. Unload. Oh, mate. I like how they don't even carry their guns. That's my... I, my favorite uh, model I have of uh, Marines was my Tech Marine. But my god, it was a metal model. It was so hard to build. Oh, god. Yeah, right. Hang on. You got attacked. Whoops. Sorry, Servitor. Please don't die. That's right. We gain cognition when they get attacked. That's right. Yeah, because... Literally the meat bags when they take damage, we just like, hey, learn from getting shot, would ya? Oh, he's also taking acid damage. Oof. Oof, I'm sorry, dude, but uh, just just swap this guy, would ya? Because that's all you're good for now. Oh, oh, he's dead. <laughs> dead servitor. Oh, well. Now, this little red bar that starts appearing beneath weapons is the machine spirit of a weapon. Yeah, there we go. Uh, when you use a weapon too much, its machine spirit gets angry, and then it has a certain uh, overload. So it's like a 10% chance of just the weapon won't fire, 40% uh, chance it will misfire and like do something bad, or like 40% chance it will overfire and like be extra powerful. But basically, you piss off your gun's happy happiness, right? And when your gun's unhappy, it's not a good thing. Okay, we lost a servitor, but ah oh well, let's get into the last area. Look at this cheeky fuck. God, look at his hat. He's got a ball in it. Now, obviously, we're getting overwhelmed by Necrons, and everything's going terribly, and we're getting surrounded, so we could fall back, or we could, you know, stand our ground with, uh, you know, Righteous Fury, or we could capture them. <laughs> yes. Alright, so I haven't actually played this battle yet, so... Oh my god. He's got the little bloody uh, hover cart thing. He looks like a centaur. All right, we're going to go straight for that guy, I guess. We have to survive for six rounds. I presume it's still in the, uh, until the Skatari arrive, maybe? Um, okay, so I think maybe we get like a tech priest to both of the uh, pillars. Start gathering some cognition or something. Or do we just try and rush Lord Flagork down? Someone such as me. Well, I'm going to kill you, so you know, that's fine. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. My shot didn't even hurt him. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Time to play the game I call running away. Phosphex only dealt one damage to this guy. I can see why the mission is survive. Maybe I could use the servitors to slow him down. That's like my only plan right now, dude. I'm just gonna get servitors to sort of block access and try and like hope that he can't reach me because <laughs> of my servitors just getting in his way. Oh God, he's very thick. He's very quick. He's very thick, quick, thick, quick boy. Servitor, give your life for the God Emperor and the Omnissiah. Um, yeah, sure, fuck it. Just slow him down any way you can. He's, he doesn't actually have physical resistance. Go, the servitors dealing the most damage. Are you fucking kidding me? All right. Stay there, Servitor. If he moves, good job. Oh! 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 Oh, God! Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! That's not good! That's not good at all! Run further! Run further! Keep moving! Get the fuck away from that guy! Woo! Okay. All right, I live to see another day. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, we fucking did it. Oh god, that was horrifying. Well, hello there. Isn't this quite cool? So basically, we have a number of actions before the Necrons awake. However, I'm playing the preview build. That means I get to experience all the cool mid-game gear and enemies and such. Which is fucking awesome, by the way. Thank you, devs. Um, and basically, yeah, you have a certain amount of time until the Necrons fully awaken. And during that time, you get to keep boosting up. That's Italian robot. Okay. Excuse me for a second. Excuse me for a second. Catafran, Castalian robot. Skatari Ranger, Ranger Alpha, Servitor, Vanguard Alpha, Skatari Vanguard. Ah, oh, this is cool. This is very cool. We've got an engine seer down here. We've got an explorator, Secuta, a Texel. Uh, Auxilium? Never seen. I never heard of those. Lex Mechanicum, Dominus. Ah, oh, this is cool. This is our cohort. Then we've got Tech. We unlock here. This is fucking cool. This is very cool. Oh my god. Yes. Power Axe. Omnisire Axe. 
I love that it shows a guy equipped with that nice Volkite Blast. I'm basically a build a close combat monster. He's got a Gamma Pistol just for like some light damage, a Flamer. He's got an Infestus Mechadendrite, an Axe, and he could also have a second one, but I've given him a Collection Men, uh, sorry, a Cognition Mechadendrite, just so he can actually uh, use his Flamer more often. He's basically just Melee Boy, and he can super bless everyone uh, in order to boost that up. So let's take him on a mission, because he looks awesome. I love all the f ah. Let's take a Castallion as well. I want a Castallion so bad. Look at that thing. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Uh, this is just a Servitor, but I like him. You know, it's cool. So basically what you do is you deploy around different areas. Do you want to go with Priesty Boy and unlock a Torsion Cannon and some data? Or do you want to go with this guy? Let's get, let's go get War Records. Sure. There we go. Deploy this. Here we choose what tech priests and troops to take on a mission. Oh, nice. Oh, we have an Arvis Lighter. Those were using only war, weren't we? Ah, oh, select your canticles as well, so we get, uh... Okay, basically an overall mission buff. Uh, increase health points, gain cognition, increase armor. I'm gonna say armor. I want some armor. Oh, no, I don't have canticles. I don't actually have any. Right. Uh, what if I'm the sec uh, instead? Oh, well, look how cheap servitors are. Let's get a Castallion robot, and then we're gonna also grab a uh, Skatari ranger. Sure. Um, the Vanguard, maybe? Hang on, let's grab, let's grab a Ranger, just because, yeah, we just have enough. And then we'll just buy a Servitor to fill things out. Whew. That is a nice lineup. Let's deploy with that. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, they mentioned this. Okay, um, you actually learned, that was something they mentioned in the, uh, in the, like, the document they gave me. You learn Necron Hieroglyphics. Uh, apparently it doesn't fully work just yet, but, um, I didn't learn the Hieroglyphic, so I don't know what one I'm... Uh, uh, circle means yes in PS. No, wait, no, circle meant cancel in PS2. Whoops. Whoops. A container of some sort that's used uh, raw binary seemingly sparks of data leak. Oh, okay. Oh, cool, we got cognition. Cool, but awakening did increase by one. That's not a good thing. Yep, they're okay, so now the Necrons awaken in the tomb, I guess. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, defense systems will start to activate. This will increase the uh, difficulty of missions. Okay. This is my tech priest. Let me show you how it works. Run him over to here. Yes, that's right. Turn around. We're going to steal a cognition from him by stabbing him. Good. Uh, we're going to... Inf Hang on, no. We're going to whack him with the... Uh, sorry, bloody... Uh, what's called axe first. Good. Uh, we're going to send our other guy over to here to grab some... Uh, what's called bloody cognition. Then we're going to hit him with an Infestus. But donk, which means he gets knocked back, deal, uh, deal a bit more damage, and we're doing good. Right, uh, we could also pop this in order to, uh, it's called try and dodge attacks, but we're not going to do that, because pretty much anyone can shoot at me. Oh god, okay, the Immortals have uh, AoE, never mind. That's something we've got to look and keep an eye out for. Right, here we go, let's run up close to, uh, okay, we want to use the Flamethrower first. Oh yes, look at that, okay. So, Flamethrower. Oh. oh, nice matey. Uh, we want to bless. Oh, we get to choose, choose stuff. Okay, right. Uh, increase damage. There we go. Bless one. Cool. There we go. Everyone just got blessed. Nice. Um, I, I, I used a minor bless. Oh, shit. I, I should have just used major bless. It's just the same. Shit. Okay, never mind. Um, right. We're going to march on up and... Wait, let's test something out. I wonder. I have to know. If I provide it, if I play a knockback on the edge of a thing. Ah, damn it. Okay, I, I thought I could knock him off, but no. Alright, collect a cognition point. Oh, I should have shot him. Oh, I should have used my gamma pistol first. No, I'm an idiot. Alright, um, let's gab another gamma uh, point. We don't really need to know him. Let's just keep whapping him. Um, cool. Alright, wow, he's still not dead. That's kind of terrifying. Who's this guy? He is the Plasma, Healy Boy, Lucky Boy, Eradication Ray? Excuse me for a second. Just gonna reveal your life. And, uh... Oh, wait, you already had your life ruined, right. Oh, my God. Oh, that's cool. Apparently it passes through walls. It doesn't pass through this, though. It doesn't pass through walls. Hang on. There's this one that passes through walls. Hang on. Oh, passing through units. God, I can't read. Uh, okay, let's march to here. Let's heal this. Do Wait, does this require... It does require... Damn it. Okay, right. Um, let's just... Eradication raid this dude. Farewell. 
Oh, nice. Right. March forwards. Whop him with the axe. Here we are. Okay, he's dead. Lovely. Oh, boy. Oh, he's a big one. He's a big one. Look at that. Whew. All right, I can't wait to use him. And now we get to use the Castallion. All right, so let's see. We've got Crushing Blow, Defense Protocol. Performs minimum damage until the end of next turn. Okay. All right, so basically we can deal, like, we can, like, defense up but lose our offensive ability. Let's flame. Oh, my God, that's massive. Right. Flame thrower. Oh, it's beautiful. No, 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 no. Here. I love the way. Look at his, look at his little fists. All right. Punchy time. Oh, it's beautiful. How is he still alive? They must have so much resistance. All right, you. Defense up. Enjoy. Good. He's super defense boy now. It's time for the machine spirit. Machine spirit critical. Let's think about the Dominus. Is uh, machine spirits always deal 100% critical damage? That's their like special power for the Dominus. Ah, oh, ruined. No, my Skatari died before I could use him. But look at his cool gun. He had a super cool gun. I wanted to fire the super cool gun. Look at that super cool gun. Oh, the Castal. You know what? You know what? Acceptable losses. It's just a guy that can't actually deal any damage and a servitor. Who really cares? Ah, oh, it's a lot of damage. Oh, that's good. Finish him off, combat monster. Come on, any damn... Oh, it's critical. Oh, what a way to win. All right, I think that's where we're going to leave it, guys. This has been Mechanicus. Man! Gosh, this is good. This is a nice game. Like, obviously, I think getting dropped straight into the deep, uh, deep end is, like, rough because I don't know all my abilities. But, uh, God, this game is good fun. I love the theme. I love everything about it. Evacuate. Oh, no! Hey there, sorry for the interruption, but I forgot to mention the document they sent me. Basically, there's a few extra things, uh, things that are missing or that are, they're going to be put in the game, or known issues that they mention in this document. I find a lot of them very fun. For start with, there are going to be uh, cutscenes, of course, that are not yet in the build. Uh, there are going to be color selections for tech priests, so you can color them any way you want. And in the document, I shit you not, it just says, go Rainbow Squad. Uh, which is brilliant. Health bar is going to be updated along with the other UI, yada, yada, yada. Uh, data icons being updated. Canticles, the uh, three things I was looking at. There's only three of them right now, but there's going to be more in the final update. There's actually going to be loads of them, apparently, uh, as they tie in with achievements. And there's just a bunch of other boring things like polish and, you know, actual running of the game and, you know, things that aren't just a variety of colors. Anyway, farewell. But, uh, yeah, this is really good fun. I love the troops that you can bring with you. The Castalian robots, awesome. I like all the uh, the heroes you can have. I wonder now if I so that guy died, didn't he? Can I go check? Was he like he's like resurrected? Oh, he's on one HP, I think. Okay, and then I assume I have to repair him, but I don't think I can because I think you're not meant to do it. Oh, maybe maybe I'm. Or is he actually dead? Dead? I'm not quite sure. Anyway. This has been Mechanicus. That is wild fun, and I can't wait uh, for the full game, or at least more missions and uh, such, to drop. Because, boy, is it good fun. I do love me some grim, grim darkness. Until next time, I've been Remy. Farewell. <laughs>